Hi, my name's Scott Fincher. I'm a Senior Product Manager for Extreme Networks. I'm part of one of the teams that developed and was very involved with developing the Defender for IoT solution that we have and we demonstrated it at the HIMSS show last week. And part of that demonstration that we showed was a patient medical device, an example of a, a hacker gaining access to a vulnerability in the medical device. It's important to protect medical devices because they're providing patient care. So in this demonstration, I'm going to show how a hacker is getting access to a, a special backdoor menu that we've created to be able to modify or change the readings that are provided by the sensors that I have with my kind patient here. So if I gain access to that device, I can flatline those sensors. And this is just illustrating that uh, when, you ca when a device carries a vulnerability, that it is susceptible for, to, to hacking, but also to viruses that might actually attack that device and cause that to go offline. So it's very important that we protect these devices from these sorts of attacks, whether it be hacking or viruses. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm now going to move the, the patient monitoring device from directly being connected to the network to connected to the Defender adapter. So I'll now do that. So now I have the device connected into the Defender adapter, which is now, and that's of course is connected into the network. And I'm going to re-attempt uh, the hacker uh, um, accessing that device. And what I need to do first is to basically apply a, a profile or a policy rule to that device and I have a pre-constructed policy that I'm going to select and I do that by simply identifying my device on the Defender application on Extreme Cloud Appliance and I select the appropriate, uh, in this case an ECG Pi group, I make that selection and apply that and then now I have a policy rule here that allows this medical device to talk to specific back-end application servers but nowhere else. So I'm now blocking the hacker or, or other uh, communications to this device be besides the actual application servers or hosts in the back end that need to, carry, to measure this data coming from the patient monitoring device. So I go to the hacking uh, laptop and I'll attempt to now uh, flatline the sensors again. And of course, with the policy in place, I'm unable to have any effect on that. I'm not, the hacker is now being blocked from accessing that device, and so therefore the patient monitoring device is now protected through behind the Defender adapter. And so that's basically the, the demonstration of how Defender for IoT can protect a medical device.